It is an interesting day. There's a lot of rain showers and quite an interesting sky. And we do have kind of a full house. <laughs> Several people doing something. We have the mason ways, uh, the masons, um, working on masonry in the cortijo. So that's going to be the bathroom at the end of the week. And I show you a little bit later. And I'm on my way to see what the solar pump guys are doing because we are replacing one pump with the other so that we can have the powerful pump in the right place. It's a bit muddy because of all the rain that falls frequently. This wind that we have right now is blowing pretty good. And I fear you can't hear a lot and there's a lot of wind noise. Let's go and have a look and also see what the rain did. Because down there you will then be able to see what a few showers can do. This was more or less dry. But then the showers filled it up. So I talk about the ruts here in the, in the driveway. Well, let's go and check out the new pump. It's the pump that we had at the outflow of the water reservoir and this one is now here in the pond so that we can have more water pressure for the irrigation system. So in a subsequent step there will be a cable that we will simply attach here to the fence. That's the cable that will control and provide power to the pump that is now inside of the um, of the pond there. These solar panels here, they are only for the pump that is inside this shallow well. But we will also run a cable and also a water line all the way up there to the farmyard. So we have two cables and one water line in there. And uh, then we can control this from a central place. So there's some IT tech involved to, to make this work. And now I am trying to find my way. Let's put it this way that you can see a little bit from the surroundings. I try to find my way to the pond one more time so that I can show you the pump and uh, how this looks like. And you can see it is all very lush because of the combination of rain and sun. Of course the wind is blowing but it's the change of seasons where this happens. So here ahead you can see something floating and that floating thing is the pump. So it's basically an old container that makes this float and you can see a string attached here to the post and another one there. We will adjust this and that makes this work. The pond is full and overflowing so every time we get more rain it will overflow on the other side. Um, we will have to figure out how we do this here with the hose and the cable. Well, the cable is clear. The cable will be attached here to that fence. That's an easy one. But we will have irrigation here. That's the place where we are going to, plan, uh, to plant in May um, Palovnia trees, some 800. And we will also seed Sunhemp and Friend here in this area and then this water line is also responsible to provide the irrigation for the new Palovnia forest but then that's further down and what we also have to do and you will see that when we are doing this we will have the pump that is now down there at the outflow of the water reservoir this pump will then deliver water here to the pond to keep this font 
filled so that we can use the pond for irrigation. So it's a bit a complicated setup, <laughs> not so much, but some bits and pieces. And now that I am here walking around, checking on things, I can show you also that. So that is here the fort where the driveway crosses the seasonal creek. And as we had some rain, let's also go over there and check on the new pond there in the distance. And I am taking you with me here, walking across, just to give you a glimpse of how this place looks like. The horses have been eating here and you can see it a little bit. So you can see that seasonal creek, how it is filled. And you can also see over there a little bit of the standing water. But let's go and check out the pond. So here behind the tree we have the pond. see now you can see that our leaky weir basically is working let's go to the other side so here you can see it in all its glory you can see the water level behind is higher than in front so that's working out as intended so I am pretty happy with that few drops of rain so it is filled very well it could rise more but uh, it's a question of time and how well this is then blocking the outflow of the water and you can see it is leaking obviously there in the back there is a water channel. Well, the level actually is the same on both sides because there this little channel makes it even. There the water can escape. So here we are looking back to the other side. But in any case, this is a working thing. Yeah, some small hail is falling. We had more and it was bigger. But this is what you expect. So I am pretty happy with the result. But this gap here is not to my liking. I have to find the way back. Now I'm definitely playing YouTuber. See what such a camera makes out of you. Once you have it, you start talking to it and filming yourself. Apparently that's what you have to do. But okay, it's an interesting thing. So we definitely have made a few significant improvements by now. And more is on the way. So let's go and have a look here inside in the future bathroom. So there is the exit for the water, for the used water. That's the place for a toilet seat and over here where they have already prepared the wall that is for two shower cabins and here on that side we have two places to wash your hands and brush your teeth and here we have a little bit of the material stacked and it should take the right form Within a few days, and by the end of the week, we should have a bathroom here. So it seems. Every single piece that is hanging here from the ceiling is accounted for individually. Nothing can escape. Each leg has a label with an identification number. Now Angel is taking one out to have a closer look. And here it is. You can see how yellow the fat is, and you can also notice how it has shrunk. Now the weight is significantly less than when it was fresh. 
When you start cutting the hem, it is important to keep this fat in order to close the cut surface again so that it won't dry out. To get your own leg of hem, you can head over to our web shop and order some. There are two options for you to buy the hem. We offer envelopes with 100 gram of hand sliced pieces of hem. And there is the full leg. In the case of a front leg, it's about four to six kilo each. Families in Spain keep the leg in the kitchen and everybody cuts off a slice whenever they are hungry. Okay, so what's left to do is now to let the puppies out. These two have been watching what everybody was doing. So they are already out. And now we can let the others also out. So let's go over there. The whole place has turned into a mud pit. Because Angel also had drive tobacco to move a few things. But that's normal. Eventually, this whole farmyard will have proper paths and driveways, and they will be reinforced and green. Um, we'll see what we can plant there. Um, one is the Bermuda grass, which is a native to this area, and another is peanut grass. But this we have to get from somewhere else. Once I had a potential supplier in Seville, but they never delivered. That's the old story here. I order stuff and it will never show up. Or the supplier suddenly disappears. So here we have the puppies and I will now let them out of their enclosure so that they can inspect the farmyard. But they have been separated because Franz, the one at the bottom, did not want to come in this morning. And you can see why that is. So, Schneemann, jetzt ist gut. Schneemann, weg. Schneemann, weg. Hey! Hey, 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 hey. Schneemann. Nein. 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 Schnellmann. Komm her. Schnellmann. Nein. Nein. Wollen wir nicht machen. Ja, Schnellmann. Wollen wir nicht machen. So. Genau. Wollen wir nicht machen. Wir wollen einen braver Hund sein. Ja. Ja, 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 ja. Ja. Hm? Schnell mal. Guck. Hm. So. Now it appears that everything is okay. All these puppies.